Well, I'm glad that uh, many of my English-speaking friends are interested in Buddhism. So today I'll share with you some information. A Buddha described the region of the universe, other dimension worlds, and the states of being in many sutras. He said there are more than 100 billion solar systems in our galaxy, and more than 100 billion galaxies in our universe. There are many universes in space. Past and future lives were reborn on other planets. In the attempt to unify the theory of general relativity and quantum theory, scientists have proposed a paradigm called string theory. They find at least 10 dimensions must exist in the universe, and this includes the three dimensions of physical space that we all inhabit, and time as a fourth dimension, and at least six other dimensions that are not visible. Science is always refining its understanding of the universe. February 11, 2016, three days after the Chinese New Year, biggest discovery of the century, scientists found gravitational waves, which Albert Einstein predicted in his general theory of relativity a hundred years ago. So as time goes on, we'll find more unseen dimensions, and those universes have their own separate history and futures. They exist in the same space and time, but only interacting in a certain limited ways when our pineal is fully activated, when we are in deep meditation. As Buddha said, the Earth is only an insufficient blue dot in the galaxy. According to uh, Agna Sutta and many other sutras, human being of the current Kalpa was from a higher realm called Absavara, and this uh, Deva realm of Buddhism cosmos. Your beings shining in their own light, capable of flying in the air, living for a very long time and not requiring sustenance. Over time, they taste the food on earth, and their bodies become more like human bodies. They lost their ability to shine and fly. They began to acquire difference in their appearance, differentiated into male and female. Their length of life decreased too. And following this, greed, anger, and violence arose among them. There is an ancient Western African tribe called uh, Dogon, which is known for its uh, advanced cosmology. 1930, a French anthropologist recorded their story. Dogon said, 5,000 years ago, their ancestor met an advanced being from the star system of Sirius. Dogon have a star graph of Sirius system and indicates some companion stars, which is invisible to us, even with a advanced telescope at that time. Additionally, the Dogon have held ceremonies every 50 years celebrating the cycle of Sirius completes its orbit. Till now, almost one century passed, the Dogon's precise knowledge of cosmological was proven right with the development of the modern astronomy. Additionally, with the development of biomechanics, scientists find the orbit star graph of the Sirius looks exactly like the strand of human DNA. In uh, Vajrayana Buddhism practice, we always visualize uh, different kind of dakinis with bird's head, wolf head, pig head, tiger head, etc. We also do ritual offering uh, many protectors, including Naga or sea dragon. And you will find very similar images in ancient Incan civilization, in ancient Egyptian, Asian Indian, Asian Chinese, Asian Maya, Asian Greek, Asian Mesopotamia, all this civilization. And some of the civilization has more than 10,000 year history. How to explain this? Contrary to our history books, modern science have shown thousands of conclusive evidence that there have been advanced civilization on Earth before this one. If you look into Buddhist Sutra, you'll find a very specific description of the Earth history and future. January 29, 2016, seven days before Chinese New Year, CIA released some UFO documents and photos to the world. They were recorded by American Air Force and the CIA half century ago. It's a big step. However, that's only the tip of the iceberg. Most information will not go to the masses. In the world we grow up, more than half of the wealth is owned 
by just 1% of the population, and that 1% manipulate the rest 99%, will brainwash by misconception, false ideologies, material reward. It gives us the illusion of secure and freedom. It's not easy for most of us to step outside of our comfort zone where we'll fear the unknown. That's why we forgot our purpose, why we're here in this planet. If we can find a way to empty our cup of all we think we know, we can see from a higher perspective. And that lost ancient wisdom is what I can find in Buddhist teaching. We should understand that in the Buddhist tradition, the purpose of taking refugee is to commit ourselves to freedom, and Buddha as example, Dharma as the path, and Sangha as companionship. The Buddhist teaching offers wisdom that goes back 2,600 years to the Buddha himself. And teaching could be relative truth or ultimate truth, could be gentle or rough, as long as the well-designed path works. Here I mention something in uh, Vajrayana Buddhism, a little bit different from uh, Hinayana and Mahayana teaching. Vajrayana Buddhism offers a much higher level of teaching about the human body. From my background, we can change a fat guy to become a fitness model or train a normal boy to become a decent fighter. Doctors could also operate a lot of leading-edge surgery nowadays. But scientists told us, our DNA is only activated by less than 20%, and our key to the universe is hiding in our DNA. Murtrayana Buddhism teaches us, enlightenment is originally present in us, and our body is a perfect mandala. So in Tantra, we have many practices of deities. Deities in Tibetan called Idam are perceived as means of enlightenment. Normally, spiritual guru assign the practitioner different Idam according to their karma and the personality, with the empowerment, oral transmission, and the teaching. Practitioner will practice that specific mantra in the visualization. It could be uh, Vajrabharahi, Vajrakilaya, Chaksambara, uh, Abhalakti Sabara, or Mahagala. The purpose of all the practice is to purify your body and mind. It's very important. Because human beings keep looking for the feeling of satisfaction and inner balance during our whole life. We chase for money, chase for food, chase for sex, chase for different kind of social relationship. But most time, that causes more trouble or dissatisfaction. Our world had more change within the last 50 years than in the last 13,000 years combined. Everything around us now is so fast, so chaotic. So our energy vibration is not at the rhythm it should be. The key to inner peace is to balance the four elements in our body. Earth, water, fire, and air. Life is channeled through the chakra system in human body. By controlling that, we will have the perfect balance and endless energy for mind-body. So along with the Indam practice, Vajrayana Buddhism has a unique training system for Za, Lung, and Nadis, which contains some very intense breathing and a physical exercise. It's sacred and it's seldom to show into public because it might cause severe problems if doing wrong. So in the Buddhist path, especially the Vajrayana path, it's very important to have an enlightened spiritual guru. While retaining our judgment, we must be 100% open to accept the guidance because he or she will lead us to the ultimate freedom, which is even beyond karma. Just like the science explained, if it were possible to travel at the speed of light, Nothing happens, nothing arises, nothing passes away. This is the experience beyond mind and matter. In Heart Sutra, form does not differ from emptiness. Emptiness does not differ from form. That's why those Mahasiddhi could live so many miracles. I just finished a retreat in Nepal, and there's a handprint left by Padmasambhava in the rock near where I lived. And these kind of prints are everywhere in this planet left by different masters. There's even a footprint on the rock left by the dog of his Holland Sikthinkramapa. Well, there's also some handprints left by me and some young lamas in our monastery. But that's before the concrete is dry when we stable the basketball stands. 
So my friends, if you are interested in any religion, don't just jump in. Don't be superstition or overexciting, okay? Be rational. The dialogues between Buddhist masters and scientists have focused mainly on three areas. Astrophysics, particle physics, neurosciences. If you are the type of person who are not easily believe anything, you need the logic to back up. Those information might help. And we need to understand that Buddhism is not about become somebody different or going somewhere else. We need to set the right motivation. And friends who are already Buddhist, be aware of spiritual materialism, which means we desire to become something or to attain a state we could be proud of. We say nice things like love, compassion, equality every day. But in reality, we don't act like that. We are selfish. We have bias. We have no true respect to others. We have no tolerance of other religions or any view that does not agree with our own. You know, many wars and conflicts of the history are in the name of religion, even in Buddhism history. Each one of us is at a complete different stage in our spiritual development. We must allow others to experience their path, to maintain a belief system for their own growth. Because eventually, we're all connected to each other. And be patient. Changes come very slowly. And don't expect perfection. I've been practicing for many years and uh, spent a lot of my time retreating too. I still have greed, anger, spiritual materialism. While working with all the negative emotion that have developed over a lifetime and many lifetime. Just like my root guru, Lama Jimba, always said, if you stare at a seat all day long, you won't see any difference. But if you just be relaxed, and after a period of time, you look at it, you'll find a blooming flower. My friend, within 50 years, most of us will not be here anymore. While enjoying everything we have now, never forget, Earth life is unique in cosmos. Very few beings choose to reincarnate on planet Earth. We have different missions here. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting. Gain your strength from storm of life. Really don't know how magnificent and how powerful we are. May all the enlightened Guru bless us. May Vajravarahi bless us. May Protector Mahagala bless us. Gama Vacheno. Gama Vacheno. Gama Vacheno. Mo Yeah. Uh-huh.